Dumb Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Let's move up to the heavyweights, and we got a barn burner coming up this weekend. I'm talking about two fighters that only lost once. Both of them lost to your boy Anthony Joshua. And that would be Dylan White versus your boy Joseph Park. Now, they've been talking. We talked about it, you know, when they had the gloves off and all that stuff and going back and forth. It's good, right? Uh, Joseph Parker has said recently, and I do not agree with him, but he said recently that we go going to war here, right? And we don't have to say that about Dylan White because Dylan White going to war anyway, right? <clears throat> Dylan White going to war, okay? Joseph Parker said we go going to war. He has to make a statement here. You know, he wants to cement himself as one of the best in the division. And this is what he's fighting for. I don't really like um, that mindset. I hope that's not what he's trying to do. Uh, that we have to go to war. Uh, I'm more of a you have to win type of guy. You know, I don't really care how uh, the fighters win. I don't consider fighting bored. I was just doing a video about uh, Pacquiao and, and uh, Floyd Mayweather. People calling that a boring fight because they just the wrong guy won. I don't consider that to be boring. If you can do what you have to do to win the fight. If you can stand there and make a, a ugly face and scare somebody off to not even throwing a punch and you don't throw the two and win, then it's awesome too. Because you won at the end of the day. All that boring stuff, you know, seems, for, you know, that's the, uh, you're kind of casual there. Boxers are not training to come out and put their chin on the line for no reason. They need to win so they can fight for another day. Right? You know, it's not about one paycheck. It's about a few of them cementing legacies and make sure your family's fed. That's what they're doing. They're not here trying to say, hey, this fan is, you know, going to, uh, because the fan is going to say, yippee, but he ain't going to pay me when I go to the med <laughs> to the hospital. So Joseph Parker said we're going to go to war. It's cool for most fans. Uh, you know, now Joseph Parker can go to war, right, for those who think that what you saw in the Anthony Joshua fight is all that's going to come from Joseph Parker. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. It might go to war. Um, but I think that he should use all of his attributes. That's what he would give what's given him for. That you can use all your attributes to win a fight. You don't need to just go to war because that's what he wants to do. That's what people do with sour grapes. They'll tell you to stand right there. Well, he's moved. I saw Manny Packer right after the fight. Well, if he would have stood still, this would have been a better fight. To say that. If he would have stood still, this would have been a better fight. You know, you, you, whatever. The ring, you know, then the ring is too small to be saying things like that. Joseph Parker needs to use all his attributes, his speed, to win the, to win the fight, outpoint him, make this guy a little bit upset so he can lean, and then you can start countering him, and then, then handle your business. You don't go in here and just go back and forth. But let's see what happens going forward. Another issue with these guys, <clears throat> obviously, when he's talking about Joseph Parker's camp, is the referee. They seem to be all happy about the referees, which is good. We don't have to hear any referee things. I've told you about that uh, Joseph Parker, Anthony Joshua fight. The guy didn't even speak English. I don't know why they got paid for this Italian dude, which is cool. But, <clears throat> if, but if he can speak English, he was not even able to communicate with the fighters. Um, that was weird. And I'm being nice by saying weird, right? In incredible. At least this time, both sides are happy with the referee. Guys, this fight between Joseph Park and Dillian White is a must-see fight if, if you're in the boxing period because these are heavyweights. These are not, you know, the, the, the top two who we consider the top two, right? We don't have any proof, but the top two are the two with the, with the belts, and that would be Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. We also know about their negotiations that, you know, we, we don't even go there in this video. We're going to leave that alone, but they should have fought, right? They, they're not fighting. And Joshua's fighting for Vecchio, okay? <clears throat> That's a ridiculous situation. I've said it on many occasions. But this fight here are two guys who said, okay, what well, we're going to do. The negotiations didn't take long. They both said we want to prove that we could beat this guy because that would send shockwaves through the heavyweight division. That's why this fight's been made. So it's an awesome fight. And it's going to be action. It's going to be action because Dillian White is going to make sure of that. And Joseph Parker will have to pull out his attributes to beat a guy like Dillian White. And if he does, don't act, don't ignore it. If Dillian White beats Joseph Parker any kind of way, 
with points. You can't ignore it. The winner of this fight is guaranteed certified a bad dude. That's why this is must see TV. Go check it out. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. Number body of y'all.